Hello friends and welcome back to To Restore You. It is Angela and today I thought we would just have a little play. Uh, it has been a while since I've been in my craft room and I probably mentioned this before but right before Christmas I got a little sick. I did a little time in quarantine and uh, actually it ended up being a lot longer. I was um I was kind of sick for like three or more weeks. So I didn't really have the energy to spend time in my craft room, but I did. The kids were kind enough to grab me different things so I could work on, you know, projects while I laid on the couch and did nothing and recovered. So what I worked on, you guys probably remember from one of our thrift haul videos, uh, the one that Dave debuted all of our goodies, that I he showed you this, I believe what they call it is painter's masking tape, which is kind of not really the right word, but you know, what you would do is put it um, on the edge, like say in your kitchen underneath uh, to protect like your baseboards in the floor. And you know, you would tape it here so you have a little more space. That's what it's, it's used for, for like the trim edges. Um, and this is about... Why do I always do that? This is about six inches wide. It is six inches wide. And so I thought what we would do is I would show you how I kind of um, go about this. And I can try, you can trust me that this takes no brain power because I had no brain power to give when I was doing this, but it kept my hands busy and kind of kept myself um, off of the fact that I wasn't feeling good. So this is the finished product. I still have some embellishments that uh, I could add to that. And so if we have time, we'll do that. Um, but basically, this is no different than like a snippet roll that you would do on um, a piece of muslin or on a piece of, um, you know, adding book pages together and doing the same thing. It's the very same thing. What I do like about this a lot is that the, the back makes awesome journaling space. It just writes uh, awesome. And I do usually use um, either one of my, um, do I have any down here? Um, like my Faber-Castell paint um, pens. Sharpies work really well on it. Um, the pen, my very favorite pen of all time, um, my Uniballs don't really um, work as well on it. So it, it smudges. I mean, it will work, but you have to let it dry. So at any rate, we are going to make a few of these. And what I will do is I'm not going to get my sewing machine out. So I prepared a couple of these that I thought we could decorate. This one was just, uh, from my stash of scrap strips. And this one is just little bits and bobs that I had left over. So I thought we would start by just making one of those. And I'm going to do a little bit smaller version so that it stays in frame. Let's see. Will that work? Ta-da! Um, I also have another video I'm going to do. Hopefully I'll have time today to do it. And um, it was another project that just sparked from being um, sick and having <laughs> nothing to do. Uh, so here are the supplies I gathered up. I did a bunch of book page. These were some old, um, this is from one of my thrift hauls. I had gotten some stamps I wanted to, to test out. Um, dictionary page. I've got um, a page from that kid's dictionary. Some Russian, some, I think there's some German in here, some um, tissue vintage advertisements. And then these I cut out on one of my hauls. I had a herb. Oh, I don't know what it was exactly, but it was an, a book about herbs. And I cut these out and I was like, well, these look like I already stamped them. So I think maybe we can use those too. So we'll use these. And then I've got um, my handy bag of fabric scraps. And then I did actually clean out my scraps and use some of these up in these projects over um, break. So this is this is what I have left in kind of this color scheme, and, and then a little bag of 
two little bag baggy baby baggies. So we'll see what we can find in there. And then when we get to the embellishing part, I just grabbed um this is this has just got some fun things we might be able to use. I these were from a uh, thrift haul. I thought maybe we could even make some little stamps out of these and stick them on there. Some more thrift haul finds. And then these are some of my um, digitals that I printed on fabric and then used up. And then some more fun. Uh, I think these are, I think these are from, well, Pink Mon Monarch prints. And I think those are from them too. Oh, it doesn't say on the bottom. I apologize. So we'll be using some of those if you guys want to play along. And then I just grabbed a bunch of random things that we can embellish with. I'm not going to make this really dimensional. Like um, on this first one, I did add, you know, like the roses, but I think we'll keep this one kind of, kind of flat. So I just have some tickets and some just little pieces of ephemera I thought we would use. And then I did grab a couple stamps that we might try out too. I don't know if you can see it, but I did stamp on these just here and there. And these are just so fun. It's such a fun way to use up your scraps. It's nothing, I mean, you guys have probably seen a million of these, but it's kind of cathartic to just, um, anyway, I think it is. It's cathartic to watch somebody else kind of play with, with paper scraps. So well, let's just get started. Um, I love this. I think I have more of it. This is from Polka, Polka Dot Pixels, and I kind of want to just use some of it somehow. So this is as, I mean, seriously, this is as easy as it gets. And I, you know, some of you will probably go, oh my gosh, Angela, are you serious? I do not even worry about um, if it's going to stick on real well. I think my daughter's home, so she's probably, I have a new surprise to tell you about, and I haven't shared it yet, but I bet, um, I probably need to take her out, but, um, uh, she came home for lunch with a couple of her friends, so, maybe if time allows before we're done, I'll make an introduction, we will see, um, I love this too. So all I do is kind of just layer it up with all my flat layers. Um, I think on the one that I did with the, with the rows, I did put that on in advance. And so I just kind of layer it up however I want it, just like what we're doing right now. And then, can you guys see it? No, you can't. You can't even see me flipping through this. Um, and then I just um, run it through my sewing machine. And then I embellish with all of the other things that this is pretty, this is wallpaper. Speaking of that, I'm going to want to do more of the, more of these. I just know it. <laughs> Maybe we will do a few of them and then we'll just decorate a couple. Um, I have a video that it went out on Wednesday and it was showing how to dismantle wallpaper books. And so I have been gifted a large amount of wallpaper sample books. And so I decided that maybe not every week, but um, often I would do wallpaper Wednesdays and make something creative and fun, maybe a few new things with those sample books. And I mean, this is, I didn't, like I'm doing right now, I'm not really thinking about it. I'm not, um, cause I don't do well when I talk and try to think at the same time. And I'm barely putting any glue on this. Um, you could collage this whole thing and, you know, fill it, fill it all up and do the very same thing. I chose not to because I wanted to be able to maybe use some of, let me show you, some of what is um, showing actually on the page. So if I use that for a belly band, I wanted to use some of this, maybe tear it a little bit. And so that is kind of why I did it a little bit, um, more symmetrical on the page, but, um, you know, and this would be the same, you know, just kind of leaving space in between right here. So that's why I did it. Um, 
certainly you do not have to. Oh, that's cute. Look at that. We can just layer all this up. And I don't, there's no uh, rhyme or reason to how I'm going about it. Um, I don't have put all of the first layer down, then do the second layer. I just, whatever piece I grab and where the spirit moves me, that's where I put it. And I think that, you know, that's a real gift, especially, I mean, let's face it, we kind of sometimes get in a rut and we go, oh, what are we going to work on now, you know? And freeing yourself to be able to do something like this, whoops, it, it just opens up your mind for creativity. Oh, this is, this is one of my digitals. This, I, this never made it to the Etsy shop, <laughs> um, but I was practicing with it. And my printer was running out of ink. And so it's not very, and you know, you can even do this. Like, you know, if you want to just ink right on this, so you get a little bit of texture on it, uh, you can do that as well. And just slap it on. So what's everybody... Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't do a shout out today. Goodness. Well, let me just do that. Let's do a shout out to Shirley. Samantha and Jan. Thanks for hanging out. Um, Speaking of hanging out and welcome if you're new to the channel and just joining me, but I do, it will probably in the next video when I do my, um, little experiment project that I worked on, um, with some more of this paper, I am going to make my announcement for my 350 subscribers because I think you guys, um, the last time I looked, I think I was like at, I want to say Three, I need one more piece for right here. That's what I'm struggling with. Let's see, look. 345 maybe? Which that is awesome. This is kind of thick. Do you think I should, why not? Why not use it? Um, I'm gonna leave it straight on the edges there. And so that means we're getting, oh shoot. That's okay, we'll do it this way. Um, really close to 350 and it means I need to get my ducks in a row. And so I had a plan. Oh shoot, I forgot to. That's okay. I'll do it now. I had a plan for my giveaway and it was kind of fun. But then when I, when I acquired all of these wallpaper books and I started um, cutting them all apart and making kits out of them and all of that good stuff, I was like, well, this would be a perfect 350 uh, subscriber giveaway because it's going to be full of fun. And there's just so many cool papers. I can't even, oh, I can't even handle it. It's just awesome. I've got to use this somewhere because I just love it. Um, so yes, the next video, I will give you the details. So be sure if you haven't subscribed yet, um, you know, do that now so you don't, you don't miss out um, because I can promise you it is going to be really fun. Really fun. Okay, what else do we want? I think we need to start adding in. What if we added a little bit of that on one of these? How about on this one? Because there's no... Why not? So, um, just so you guys know, while I'm... ripping and sticking all I did and some of these if you look closely let's see these are yeah this one's a good one so you know I just did three strips and some of them I did zigzag some of them I did straight stitch but um as I was going I never stopped and if I had to go squiggly over to here to get that in there that's what I did no thought no it's just totally random so just know, as I always say in our art, the rules are there are no rules and you just need to 
take a risk and roll with it. This I don't know how, how I got all this green, but I'm loving it. Um, and like I said, I don't put very much glue on it because I'm going to be putting it through the sewing machine and I do normally use um, glue stick and not art glitter glue or Fabri-Tac because it just, it just makes it a little bit harder to get through. Here's some of my Kool-Aid dye paper. Let's use a little smidge of that. Uh, the strip ones, oh my gosh, those were so simple and so quick. Um, and you know, it depends. Like I was, by the time I did, you know, two or three of these, I was like, okay, now I'm kind of out of the mood to decorate for the moment. So let me just put them through the sewing machine and then we'll see what happens the next time. And it's something that you can just, you know, have at the ready for one of those fun projects to do whenever your little heart desires. Let's see some of this. Hang on, I'm going over to my stack here. And I apologize if it gets really loud. I've got four teenagers up there. Here, you can hand her to me really quick. Oh, no, she wants to go to bed. So you're not going to get to meet Miss Ruby for a little bit now. I'm sorry. Bye, buddy. Oh, here. Come here. Here we go. So, friends, introducing. Let's see if we can do this. Miss Ruby. Ruby, can you look at the friends? It's your friends. Ruby. Look at isn't she precious? She's an Aussie Shepherd. Dave has wanted one for a long time. She's just a little bit of a thing. Uh, her mom was a mini. Her dad was normal size. See, now she's going to want to go upstairs because she hears the kids. It's exhausting. You know, I was thinking about this this morning. I'm like, oh my goodness. Having a puppy is no different than having probably it's harder having a puppy than it is having a newborn child because they demand a lot from you. It's been a long time and I've kind of forgotten. Lordy, Lordy. But she's been really good. We've only had her for, this is day three. Uh, Zenny is, well, she's not the best role model. Zenny, you know, Zenny's been with us, so it'll be five years in April, and she is pretty spoiled. Uh, she gets all the attention, and she's only six pounds, so she gets loved and held and, you know, all of that good stuff all the time. So she's like, hey, I'm over this little thing. And she's, you know, Zenny looks like a giant right now. <laughs> but I told Zenny we had a very big heart-to-heart, -heart, and I'm like, girl... This puppy might be little right now, but she's going to be four times your size in not, in not a very long amount of time. So you should probably choose your behavior wisely. We'll see how she takes my advice, but so far, not so good. Every time that, like, I hold the puppy, like if I bring her on the sofa and hold her, Zenny pops up and jumps right on my lap. Of course she does. But she's been pretty special and pretty cute. And so I went with two of my girlfriends. They were so sweet. They're they're huge dog lovers. In fact, one of my friends, um, she has like, I mean, I call it a full-time job, a second full-time job as a dog sitter. And she like goes to people's homes and stay. And I mean, she's hardly ever at her own home. I don't even why she has one on because <laughs> she's at everyone else's but um I was really nervous I just I don't know Dave has been begging for a dog for a very long time you know that we commute and while I was sick I caved and I was like fine I will get him a dog he actually had some friends who one was the daddy of of Ruby, and then um, the 
then they said that they were going to have a new litter of pups. And I was like, no. I told him no right away. <laughs> I put my foot down. Um, and then while I was sick, I was like, oh, okay. Maybe he does need a puppy. Um, so she will, she will not be at our Johnston house full time. She'll, she'll be a traveling dog just like Zenny. She'll go back and forth and, um, be with him. Give him some companionship. I said, well, um, if you can believe it, he went, um, on the river yesterday, which scares me half to death, but, um, the river is just, you know, right down the street from our house in, in Nebraska. And, uh, he kayaks. And we both kayak, but he goes out at, uh, I don't know, crazy times of the year. And anyway, and it kind of thawed off to what extent, I don't really know. I don't, sometimes I just don't ask questions. It's better off not knowing. <laughs> And I told him, I said, well, you're going to have to get her a life jacket because I'm sure she's going, you're going to want to take her with you. Um, I had bought Zenny a life jacket, mostly just so she would go in the, um, would maybe come in the pool with us. <laughs> and I bought it and I'm like, oh yeah, this should be fine. And oh my goodness, it was so tiny. I was like, well... Yeah, she's gained a little bit of weight. So, back to the... Do you see how I did that? I didn't even really... Whoops, I should have probably done that. I was just going to say, I didn't... I don't really even glue it on. Um. So, I said, we well, should probably get her a life jacket so she can go kayaking with you. So he's pretty excited. He has not met her yet. Um, I did not tell him I was going to get her. Um, and so my girlfriends and I went and picked her up. And she's she's been really good. She's um, doing great at going outside and doing what she needs to do. She's um, sleeping pretty well. Last night, she slept until 3.45, and I keep her, you know, she's in a kennel, but um, but I put her in the kennel in our room, and I, I was the one that woke up, and so I think maybe I woke her up. Uh, so I took her out, and then she didn't really want to go back in her kennel, but she did, and, uh, and then she, um, when she went in the kennel, I was like, you know, this needs something else. Um, maybe I should put some music on. Maybe that would help her. And, uh, so I found something on my iPad because I was, you know, half asleep and I was like, I'll just put a little music on and I don't know if it was coincidental or not, but she did fall back asleep and then I got up and saw the kids off to school and she did not get up until 7.30. Now, if only every night could go like that, I would be happy. Now, you might also notice that while I'm doing this, I'm also not really giving much thought to which direction. Um, it doesn't matter because when you cut it, then you can put it on the page however you want. So, um, really, I mean, I don't, I don't have a problem with my writing going one way or the other. So, you know, it's, it's a personal preference. Let's see. I feel like we need to... This seems to need something. This seems to need something. Let's see. Maybe we should do a little... Should we use some... I think these might be... These might be clear stickers. This one would kind of look cute. I think they are. So let's see. My plan might not work. Yeah, they're clear. All right, so hang tight. Um, this paper that I got to it on might not work let's see I'm trying to use up some of this ugly paper that I don't like well that'll work all right let's just cut this out really quick uh 
Here, are there any more that we want to use while I'm doing this and using up some of this? Let's just use up this blue one. Uh, so anyway, so far so good. And Dave will get to meet her. Oh, Ooh, that's, well, whatever brand of stickers these are that I got from the thrift shop. They stick well. Do I want to use any others? What about this cute little... I'm going to have to get a clear... Let's see. Let's get a light one. A large piece of paper. So, yeah, that's our exciting news. Oh, my goodness. And nothing else, but listen, after a month of not doing a darn thing and being housebound most of it, I just didn't want to go out and I didn't want other people to get sick. So I was like, I know I'm not contagious. I know I don't have to be in quarantine, but I just, I, I, I would rather just be safe than sorry. So, and I felt like, you know, I might've had the flu or something else. I don't know. It was, it was not fun. And then, of course, the kids had to be hanging out with me because I got sick. <laughs> Which, they, I mean, they were fine. They, I love to hang out with them. I'm sure they would have preferred to not. Um, especially during Christmas break. So then we had to um, reschedule. Of course, all of us, you know, all of our family could be together, but... Um, so we had to schedule my schedule our Christmas with my family, and so we're doing that this Sunday. So nothing like spreading Christmas or uh, out. My mom said to me the other day, "Uh, yeah, I really want to. Can we get this scheduled? Because I really want to take down my Christmas tree." And I thought it was funny that oh, she was keeping it up. Let's see if we can use some of this stuff up too before we put these on there because I got all of this. What is all these little, little bits that I didn't even think about. Of course, nothing I like in here. There's some little, let's see if we can use that. I don't know how that snuck in there. I think every... Oh, here. Let's pull this out and see what it is. And let's work with that. Oh, this is kind of chipboardy. Should we try it? I may have to use Fabri-Tac on that, though. Yeah, I wasn't planning on um, doing Ruby's debut until <laughs> maybe a video or two later, but the kids just kind of made it easy. They wanted to, Demi wanted to bring her friends to see the pup, so. What else do I know? Not a whole heck of a lot. I'm going to save this. Maybe we can use this on one of the other ones. Okay. So at this point, I possibly would put some, let's just see. We'll just do it on one of these. Use this up. To be the first to find, discover, success, victory. How about ex Oh, this is one whole... Well, that's not very, I want experience, but it's all one sticker. Oh, it's going to be not anymore. 
Oh, so I know I have, well, I don't know if it's really news, but an update. Um, so I had intended, um, while I was um, also ill, I was able to kind of plan my 2022 20, goals um, and such and things I wanted to accomplish. But um, one of the things that I had said I was going to do was Mindful Mondays. And I, it was a, um, what is this? I just found this on the floor. Where did it fall off of? Well, while we have it out, we might as well use something on here. Um, so I was going to, I was going to do these Mindful Mondays. I was going to um, do basically just art journaling and kind of tie it back to my course and um, my mindful um, fundamentals on the um, To Restore You page and just do some like little freebies and funs, funsies. These are, okay, we were not using these right now because they're stickers, but I can't get them to come out. Um, and I had all of the best intentions. And then when I was supposed to start, I knew I wasn't going to start it um, on the first because I was still feeling the. And then I still didn't feel good. So I was like, well, I'll just start it when I decide to start it. And I still haven't. And I really needed to, like, just say, give yourself grace. There is no reason to you know, get all worked up about the fact that you said you were going to do something and you didn't do it. You know what? Sometimes the life happens and we need to just be, um, give ourselves some, some grace and be okay with saying, you know, I don't have to do everything. I can't do everything. And, um, I know when to, say no. So I made the choice after I, I mean, totally, oh, I was like just anxious about it for a long time. And I was like, oh my gosh, I said I was going to do this. And you know the drill. I'm sure you guys do because, you know, I'm not alone on this. Um, and so I just decided, you know what? It's not going to happen. If I decide to do a mindful Monday, it will be a mindful Monday when it works. And it won't be something that I feel has to be scheduled all the time. Um, and we'll have fun. And I'm still working in my art journal. Um, and I, you know, there are things that I do want to share with all of you, but um, I'm just going to do it. I, I said this year, one of my goals was, um, my word of the year was joy. And if it doesn't find me joy or it makes me stressed out to plan it, then I'm not going to do it. Um, which I say that. See, I'm saying this on here so you guys can hold me accountable because I get, I say that all the time. My husband says, you're the worst at saying no. <laughs> um, but I'm telling myself no. Like, I need to, you know, that's why I started this channel was to, um, to just... Like, you know, like I always say, to take time to just be. This is what makes me happy. And um, I don't want it to be work. And I want it to be something that brings other people joy. And if I'm creating what I love and using my creative outlet somehow, then hopefully it's bringing someone else joy. Okay. I'm happy with that. So off camera and I'll show you on my next video, what we did. Then you just zip it through and as many times as you want, you could go all the way around it. Certainly if you have never done this kind of a collage before, if you don't have a sewing machine, you would just stick it on much better than I just did. And you could use other, um, other pieces and parts. And, oh, you know what? We didn't add to it though. We need some, I need some lace or something. Um, and then, and then it's already done. Um, but I just, I think it gives a nice texture. The reason I really like it, this might need to have, oh, I don't know. This might have been a bad idea. 
know what's going on there because <laughs> I committed. Um, the reason I like it is because then when I cut this up for journaling, um, it just gives it a little more substance and it is easier for, um, at least I think it's easier for me to write on it. And again, remember, see, I did, on that last piece, I put way too much glue on it. I wasn't thinking I was sewing it. So, um, this is cute little bias tape on there. You just kind of have to remember that when you're sewing. I love this, but we're going to use some of this in a little bit. That was some of my, let's see, not loving that, but I think I can put an embellishment on after it's done. I've got these words. I think these words came from like, um, something I bought when I was scrapbooking and Demi was a baby. Because it says things like special, miracle, precious. Okay, we're calling that one good. Let's move on to another one. Ta -da. We did not put any um, stamps on that one. Which one should we do next? Let's see, we're at 36 minutes. So let's just do one more. Which one shall we do? This one's almost kind of done, so why don't we work on this one? And I know you can't. We'll st I'll try to be mindful and start on this side. And... Okay, so let's put that up here. All right, let's get at it. I really like, um, let's see, so we've got this little pile. Can you see that? I can't really see my ribbon, so we'll move that up here. Um, I really like the O's, and then I, this is from an old book, but I thought those, we could tear some of those out too. Um, I really like these, and they are a little raised, like that little butterfly, but I think that they'll go super cute on this. Like, even this, which I don't, it's not one of my favorites, but no, I don't like it there. <laughs> This one, maybe, right there. How about that? Okay, let's just put it. Let's just put it in a couple spots and make sure we like it. Not bad there. I like it there. The other ones are pretty slim. That's too busy. Oh, it looks cute here, too. What do you guys think? I'm going for this. Are you guys like me? Do you sometimes say, oh, no, it just needs to go right just to the left a little bit. Right there. Put it right there. Um, I do all that. I talk to my talk to my favorite YouTube friends. They just don't know it. I really love this one. Now, at this point, <clears throat> I've already sewn it. So, I need to make sure that this is going to stay on. And this is... This is very sticky as well. Oh, I like this kind of like right in the middle. And truthfully, I could use it that way if I wanted, but I could also use it this way. I like that. Sample. Okay, let's get some. Where's that lace? That fun lace. We need one on there. Okay, we're going to have to get out the fabric tack for this. Now, you could also, if you... Um, you know, cause on the first round I did, I did put some fabric on and then <clears throat> sewed it, sewed it. Is that... Yeah, I think that's right. Um, and that would probably be the smart thing to do, but if you got fabric tech, it'd be fine. It'd be fine. What else? What else is going on in you guys' world? Anything exciting? I love it when I when I get comments from you guys on what you're working on. Or... This is really, really fragile paper. <laughs> I don't even know how I even look at it. Holy cow. Well... I'm cutting his wing, her wing, her, his wing. I don't know. 
<clears throat> it's funny, I was listening to Carrie the Crafter, <clears throat> and he was kind of sharing something, you know, that made me really think, and that was, you know, just... Um, you know, take a break, do what, do what you want to do. And I was like, you know, I taught this stuff. I know it. It doesn't always mean that I <laughs> put it into practice and you need to hear that sometimes. And it's like, you know, just take time for you and don't apologize for it. You know, that work if you, that you got is still going to be around. I promise you that. Let's see. Let's see if we got some vintage. Oh, look at the little cows. Not really loving this anywhere, are you? I mean, it doesn't really look good there. Yeah. Okay. Well. You know what? This, for some reason, I'm coming back over here, I just noticed, is not, that one edge is not sticking down. So let's just get that on there. We don't want it to come off. I really want to use these up. How about we use this one? This is a cute little bird. Or do I want it here? Hmm. Or here. Then I have room on either side and I can make it a belly band. Good idea, Angela. But yeah, I was, and I was telling Dave about that too. I'm like, I am making myself sick over this. Like, like losing sleep about... Not doing this mindful Monday thing. Uh, I don't know why. What's the deal here? Why this isn't? I know you guys can't see that, but it keeps pulling up. That's so bizarre. Bizarre. All right. Let's see. Let's use a. Let's use a word. On something here. Well, I always love Inspire, so we're going to use Inspire. Where are we going to put it? I don't know. And if you um, are curious as to how I made this these fabric words, then um, I can link. I better write it down or I will forget. Um, I can link the video for you. You know, um, you know how it is when you, like, simple things, like, you need a pen. You're in your craft room, for goodness sakes. Do you ever, get, are you ever like that? And you're like, I can't find a pen. Oh, my goodness. I do that stuff all the time. Or paper. I'm like, oh, I, need, I can't find a piece of paper. <laughs> really, Angela? Oh. Well, I'm just going to keep working on this for a few more minutes, and then... I will say goodbye. I might not get this totally done. Oh, that would be cute there. Can you see that? Let's see. Let's do another word. I like these words. These are pink, <laughs> pink monarch prints. This is one of my favorite sayings. So what's going on there? Carpe diem sees the day. I'm kind of excited, uh, you know, about being back in the game here because um, I have, you know, there were things that I did work on, uh, you know, just little projects, but just things that um, I want to show you guys. And I, I mean, I really did kind of get 
um, a little lonely when I wasn't doing my videos. And I, I, you know, one of the things that I thought would be hardest for me when I started doing videos, um, and, um, you know, really paying attention to my channel and starting, um, to focus more on the arts is, um, I glued this and I don't know where I'm going to put it. <laughs> Let's retry something here. Mm -mm. That still isn't staying on there. Okay, we're sticking this here because I glued it and now I'll have to figure out something else to do. Um, was, I don't know if I can talk to myself. Like, I don't talk to myself when I'm crafting. How am I going to talk when, you know, you, you guys all, we're not on a Zoom meeting, for goodness sake. Um, but it's funny how, like, you look forward to hearing the comments from your subscribers and from knowing that you have supported them and, you know, watching your channel grow and you don't want to, you know, you guys are important. And gosh, I, there's no other reason that I would do this if it weren't for <laughs> all of you guys. Um. Because then I could just talk to myself. Um, so I just want you guys to know that I really appreciate you. And I'm really excited about um, making the announcement on my next video about the 200 or 350 subscriber giveaway. I love to send little gifts and big gifts and fun gifts. So that will be... I don't know where I want this. No, because of what happened to the, um, did I put him back? Okay, you, are you guys seeing this here? I had the, maybe it was this one. Let's see, no, I thought I had another one. Did I not? Oh, that's pretty. I don't know where I could put that. It doesn't really go with any of those, though. Squirrel. Hmm. That must have been the one. Oh, I also have these. This might be a little too bluish. Actually, it kind of looks cool on there. Maybe we'll use that one there. That one would go cute there. I got to come over here to glue this one because I need to get it all the way on there. Sometimes I forget, in all honesty, <laughs> that, um, you know, this is the part I need to actually get the glue on well. Um, so if you see me not do it, please forgive me. I will go back and make sure everything is. Can you see that? Oh. Oh, now she's snoring. She must be having puppy dreams over there. Let's see, what else do we have here that we might be able to use on this? Oh, I know what I want to use. I want to use this somewhere. This is just, I was playing around. These are stamp-offs from um, Signet stamps from my Denison labels. I love these. I use them all the time. I'll make sure to link that below too and then we can later probably off camera I can put a word on it how about this how about I do this one and then let's just stamp some things on here so you guys can see how I do that um where was I going to put this oh I was going to put it here but I think this is so this is open in the middle so that can actually be a double belly band Oh, the possibilities, how endless they are. All right, I'll keep working on those after we get done, and I'll show them on my next video. But let's do some stamping. So I'm just going to use my Distress Ink, and I just have... I just grabbed two. So this is just words. And this is... I'm not... This is from the thrift shop. Or no? I don't know. I don't know where this came from. It says Stationery Pal, which I have ordered from them a couple times. 
But I feel like I got this at the thrift shop. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to stamp and go because the baby has awoke. We know what that means. Oh, no, she just wanted to lay. She has this thing. She does not like to lay in her in a puppy bed. She just likes to lay on the um, hardwood. It's just, I don't know. She's weird like that. Let's just do a couple of these. And notice that a lot of these that I'm doing, I'm not doing right on the, you know, I'm going off onto the, to the side there. I don't know why I'm most excited to show you um, the next video. It's nothing, you know, oh, that didn't turn out. I got something on it. It's nothing earth shattering or anything, but it's just, it was so fun. <laughs> I'm like, well, I could do this all day long. Let's see. Let's put some here. And with these, as you can see that I'm doing, um, I don't even, I don't even bother to put, um, to peel this off and put it on the stamp pad. It works just fine the way it is. Um, and I'm only going here and there. Just kind of gently, I don't need it to be see if there's any on there. A little. I like this down at the bottom too. Let's get some of that on there. I'm going to have to dress this little butterfly over here. He keeps popping up and it's really perplexing me. Let's do this where it's over both. And so I just do that and then just press, press down with my fingers and it works just fine. There we have it. Well, that was easy peasy lemon squeezy. So friends, I tell you what, I will let you go and I will keep working on this. And when you see me next time, we'll talk about the 350 uh, subscriber giveaway. I'll show you what I finished here and we'll just have a good chat about. Until next time, friends, as always, remember to take time to just be. We will see you soon. Cheers.